Written by Philip Robinson, drawn two. Two is the Blinkered Entitled, trained by Vincent O'Brien, written by Cash Asmussen. Three, Fair Judgment, the non-runner. Four, Golden Isle, that's the uh, stable companion of Entitled. Declan Gillespie rides this. Number five is the favorite, most welcome runner-up in the derby, Paul Ledery rides. Six is Nahiz, third in the French derby, Ray Cochran. Seven, Sir G, the French challenger, Walter Swinburne. Eight, Sir Harry Lewis, trained by Barry Hills, written by John Reed. And number nine is Van Vitelli, trained by Liam Brown, and now written by Michael Kinnan. Here's the betting, John. Sajid, the six to four favorite, reverting from seven to four. Most welcome is three to one, reverting from seven to two. And entitled a four to one chance also from seven to two. Sir Harry Lewis is 11 to two from five to one. And he's out to 10 to one from eights. Dollar Seeker a 50 to one chance. And Van Vitelli, 66 to one from fifties. Golden Isle also on 66s, this time from 100 to one. And they're all quoted for the Budweiser Irish Derby. Which is race, the Budweiser Irish Derby, a mile and a half the trip. That's it, they're eventually sorted out, eight under orders and away they go. And through the first furlong, uh, look for the red cap of Gold Mile to come through next to the rails to take up the running. With it on the outside is entitled and Sajid is with them at this stage and that for favourite backers is vitally important. And it's God's Isle who leads for the first furlong from Sir Harry Lewis in second place. Entitled on the outside is third. Now he's close up four. Sajid next to the rails in a good position. Uh, Walter Swinburne has that horse. The back marker is Dollar Seeker. Most welcome is last of one. But through the first uh, two furlongs, and it's God's Isle who has it by length. From Entitled in second place, Sir Harry Lewis going third. Then comes Nahiz in horse. Vin Vitelli is in fifth place. Behind that one comes Dollar Seeker and most welcome. With uh, Sajid now just dropped back to be last. And uh, through the first quarter mile, it's Golden Isle in the lead. Golden Isle from Entitled in second place. Then uh, he's next to the rails third. On the outside of him in the hoop seat is Sir Harry Lewis. Van Vitelli with a black cap and Sajid just the back marker. They begin the sweep on the far side of the track. And it's uh, Golden Isle who's poached the lead of some two lengths now. Over Entitled in second and Bruff Scott. Sajid back in last place but going well. He's going all right, I'd say. No more than that. He's going comfortably enough. They haven't switched this on. They've only gone a pretty safe gallop so far. The whole thing is going to change when they play the cards, when they swing down the hill. Golden Isle uh, will have to attack if he's going to try and justify being more than just a pacemaker. And uh, Sajid, well, he's OK there, but I just worried when he was in the Hawkeye, he came from an impossible position. He doesn't want to switch himself off too much, but he's comfortable at the moment. So just over five furlongs to go, and Vin Vitelli on the outside, Van Vitelli on the outside of Golden Isle, then comes Sir Harry Lewis in a good position. Most welcome is just last on the outside of Sajid, that's the horse of the nose band, uh, and entitled being ridden along as they begin the sweep into the home straight, just four furlongs left to race, and Van Vitelli on the outside of Golden Isle who starts to give way. Sir Harry Lewis travelling there with the hoop sleeves, and he's in the red jacket, Dollar Seeker, and uh, Sajid we're looking for room next to the rails. Most welcome coming with a run, but with three furlongs left to go, the rank outside of Van Vitelli leads from Sir Harry Lewis in second, Nahiz is third, entitled next to the rails four, most welcome looks for room, Dollar Seeker comes with a run there, next to the rails, Sajid has got to work wonders, they've got two furlongs to go, and Van Vitelli strongly pressed by Sir Harry Lewis, a furlong and a half to go, and Sir Harry Lewis goes on, Sir Harry Lewis in the lead from Van Vitelli, Nahiz in the red jacket closing with every stride, most welcome has got a lot to do, they're inside the final furlong, and Sir Harry Lewis and John Reed from Nahiz, and Ray Cochran, these clear, and entitled in third, and Sir Harry Lewis has it, but they race up towards the line, Sir Harry Lewis from Nahiz, who's closing with every stride, but Sir Harry Lewis is holding on. Sir Harry Lewis the winner, Nahiz second, entitled third, Van Vitelli four, most welcome five, Saji six, Donna Seeker seven, and dropped out last of all was Gold Mile. And so the result of this, the Europe switchiest race, the Budweiser Irish Derby, it's a win, one, two in fact for England, a win for number eight, Sir Harry Lewis, owned by Howard Caskell, who flew over uh, from the state, especially to see this horse run, training Great Britain by Barry Hills and ridden by John Reed, a first Irish Derby winner for him. Second is number six, Nahi is given a brilliant ride by Ray Cochran, just one place through the third furlong, for final furlong. Six to one, second number six, Nahi is ten to one, and third number two, entitled at seven to two. Number seven, Sajib, was the 13 to eight favourite, non-runner three, and age